The Ben Carter hasn't arrived yet. Anyway, I have manifested it. Should arrive any moment. <laughs> so today's video is not about manifestations, but something similar, and in my opinion, something way more powerful than any manifestation could be. You know, I also talk about manifestations. There are many guys that are talking about that. Dr. Dispenza is the most famous one, I think. And it works. I did that too. You can manifest things out of nowhere. You can attract things into your life by changing your way of thinking, by changing your way of feeling, and by knowing that it will come. Now, this thing is the friend of mentor of mine recommended me this book lately. So I want to talk about that. It's called Parallel Universes of Self. It's in German, but the original is in English. I'll link to it in the description. Ready? Now, please do recall for a moment every decision you took in your grown-up life even before. And now imagine further that every decision you took, there are plenty of other possibilities how you could have decided, right? And that opens a whole lot of versions of your life how it could have been if you had decided differently. Does that make sense? You're on the crossroad, you take right side, your life is going to be that way. You take left side, your life is going to be that way. You go straight, there's a third version. So at every crossroad, if it's a, such a crossroad, there are three possibilities where to go, what to decide. So imagine every decision is like a crossroad and you took one path. You decided something, and then your pathway go in a certain direction. Now, and now comes uh, the weird part. Imagine that every possible pathway of yourself, every possible version of yourself, of yourself exists in parallel. So all the possible decisions I could have taken in my life, all the versions that would result on these different decisions would live and exist in parallel universe at the same time, at this very moment. There are millions of other Daniels living. That sounds weird at the first sight, but if you imagine, it could actually be possible, right? So if I go left at the crossroad and the other Daniel goes right at the crossroad, there are already two Daniels, different lives. If I decide to become a mason and he decide to become a waiter, the whole life will be completely different. Now, as weird as that might sound, try to look at it as different movies with the same actor. But now it comes the secret. The beauty of it is, if you think that is true, you can, ready, wait for it, you can become any of these versions. Why? Several reasons. One, don't want to overcomplicate it. Read the book, excellent. First reason is because our brain doesn't know any time or space. If you tell your brain consistently to be in such a time or space, it will believe it. It will believe it. It will work accordingly. That's why also manifestation work. You tell your brain to be in a different space and time, to think differently. That's why also you can recall child memories, even with the according emotions going on. You had a happy moment as a child, you recall it, the same emotions come back, 
right? So everything still exists. We always think that life is a linear thing, but that's not true. The truth is nothing is linear at all. If our brain doesn't know any space and time, we can go anywhere back in time or forward. Now forward, I'm not experienced in it, I'm working on that, but backwards, I can guarantee you it works. So our brain doesn't know any space and time, we can go back at any crossroad we decided something and decide differently. Take another pathway. We went left last time, now this time we go right and see what happens. But as we don't recall every tiny little decision we took in the past that took us here, it's going to be difficult. So why don't we just pick the version we want? Let me put this in practice because it's easier to do. So a long time in my life I struggled with money. I had a folder which was labeled unpaid bills. Right? So I was the guy having unpaid bills all the time. That never stopped. Why? Because I had a folder unpaid bills. So I read this book. Um, and as you can see, I quite worked a little bit on it. And I said, okay, what is the most urgent for me to change right now? And I looked at that stack of unpaid bills and I was okay. So I contemplated a little bit my life and I figured, okay, if there is this version of Daniel having unpaid bills, there must be, logically, another version of Daniel that doesn't have this problem. So I imagine, and now comes the street, the secret, we are already in the first step, I imagine to have a conversation with that Daniel. So I figured to have a conversation with that Daniel. I said, hey, listen, dude, how do you manage your unpaid bills? And he looked at me and he was like, what do you mean? I said, you have, don't you have unpaid, unpaid bills? Uh, no, I don't. How come? Because when a bill arrives, I just pay. I said, but you don't have a folder for that? No, why should I? I have a folder for paid bills. I was like, huh. And you never had unpaid bills? No. He didn't even know what that means to have unpaid bills, to have a folder with unpaid bills. And he looked at me and said, what, what's wrong with you? You're a weirdo. Why you have a folder? By having a folder with unpaid bills, you presume that you're going to have unpaid bills. Now we're in the manifestation part again. But you see, so I figured, okay, how can I become now this version? And that's maybe a little bit tricky, but you'll get to it. So what I did, and it's kind of written in that book, read the book. What I did, what worked for me, what also now works for me, because I continue to do that. I continue to have discussions with the guy, with that other version of myself. I let him into my life. And that can be while driving or while watching a, a movie or whatever you do. Suddenly, a thought pops in. That, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, if I take the bill and just scan it with my app for electronic banking, it's going away. So, slowly but surely, I became friend with that other version of mine. And the closer friend we got, the more I got to be that guy. And now I am that guy. I am that version of myself. As both of us are Daniel. Match. So you might say, yeah, that's a weird thing to get to another manifestation, of course. But it's really, really powerful because your imagination can imagine another version of yourself. 
And then one day, I imagined the guy, the same person, standing in my office, obviously because it's me, opening the mail, getting an invoice from someone, scanning it in, chat, fixing a day, and gone. And then I felt it. Huh? I have become that guy. I am the guy, the Daniel version, without any unpaid bills. And that is magic, and it really works. Now, you might say, and you'll be right, but hey, Daniel, if you have unpaid bills, that means you don't have enough money to pay all of it. True. And that just become, because you became another version of yourself, that doesn't go away overnight. Also true. Very, very, very true. But the thing is this. Now, that continued to happen for a little while. It took me like a month, not more than a month. And I had never unpaid bills anymore. So, what happens then is, during that period of adaption, you have to remind yourself that you're not the old version anymore, but the new one. And whenever the reality as it still is kicks in, you just have to tell yourself, okay, that's still there. It's about to change, but I'm not that anymore. I'm not this version anymore, the Daniel with the unpaid bill. I'm the new version, and that will go away. And what I did, and depending on what topic you are working on, I can help you with that. What I did is, as a first step to help reality to change, instead of labeling the folder unpaid bills, I labeled it processed bills. Because of course, I couldn't change the thing overnight, but I could get the bills to be processed in my electronic banking to say, okay, these are here, by the end of the month, this will be paid. And then it was out of my mind. So for my little stupid brain, the bill was not here anymore. It wasn't that stack of bills, but it was a processed bill. It wasn't unpaid, it was processed. And as I said, within a month, I had a gig that allowed me to make enough money to pay all the bills every month. So it really works. Now, another thing that happened afterwards, which is quite funny too, I had always all the bills paid. But that version of Daniel only had his bills paid, but not more. Now we all know you need a little bit more money in life than just to pay your bills, right? I have a car, I have rent to pay, I have a car, I have rent to pay, I have uh, um, food, etc. etc. A lot of things you pay by cash or by in the States by check or whatnot, groceries, etc. 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 And then maybe you want to have some fun. With your partner, you want to go out, you want to go to the movies, you want to go on vacation, uh, buy some nice cloth, whatever. So you need more money than just the money to pay your bills. So I, I figured, okay, if there is a version of myself, and I knew it works, once it works, it's always easy. So there must be a version of myself having money all the time. So I figured there was a Daniel that never think about money, that just money is always there. So I started to have a discussion with that Daniel and told him, listen, how do you do? I don't know. It's just always, I just always have money, I always have cash in my pocket. I don't have to think about which debit card or credit card I pay now. It's always there. Yeah, but how it comes in? You know, there are gigs, the things are happening. It's just, I don't worry about money. It's just happening. So if you always have money, you must have more money than you need. So you need to put it in your, into assets or you put it away or buy gold or whatever. Crypto or whatever. And he said, yeah, but that's happening too. So people tell me about this and then I do that. And then, well, 
Sometimes I lose, sometimes I win, but I have always money. So again, I discussed with the guy. I let him into my life. And slowly but surely, I became the guy. Now I always have money. I have several hundred bucks in my pocket right now. And I use them, but it, it's still several hundred bucks. I don't know how it happens. And then I think about it. And then I think, okay, there was the customer paying me in cash. There was this other guy paying back his debt. Okay, so that's fine. But if you think too much about it, you just lose it again. So it's just happening. So whatever it is you want, maybe you're a job seeker right now, then imagine a version of yourself having always a job or having the job of your dream or the pos position of your dreams. How cool is that? And have a discussion. I know this sounds weird, but it works. You do that in silence and okay, how you did it? And the other version maybe say, I don't know how I did it. Or just, he tells you or she tells you the story of how it worked for that version of yourself. So, let's resume. Imagine that there is any other version of yourself living in parallel universe. And you can have conversations with them. So, every decision you took creates a version, another version of yourself. So, there are literally millions of versions of yourself. Any possible, imaginable version of yourself does actually exist. And you can call it into your life, have a chat, or have several chats, and slowly but surely you become that version. Then you need some patience because of reality catching up behind the scenes. So you need to be a little bit patient. But it works. Believe me, it works. So get that book. <laughs> and as the channel's name is, become the creator of your life. I'm Daniel G. See you. Bye bye.